Hello traders, Gary Wagner here, just before 11 o'clock in Honolulu, 5 o'clock in New York on Monday, the 22nd day of September 2014, and this is a the daily report for gold and silver. We do have the precious metals moderately to slightly lower across the board. We have an equities market under pressure and the dollar trading a little bit lower. First, to gold currently printing at 12.14 and change. That's off of a low of 12.10.50 and a high of 12.20.30. Really, really interesting action in silver today. You can see that right here. We'll talk about that towards the end of the show. But if you look at this low that came in, this low is at around a 1746, currently trading at 1771, high 1786. You can see it's back up near the high of the day, still lower on the day by about six cents. Traders, very interesting day. It was trading slightly higher for the better part of the day, currently trading, as I said, down a couple of dollars. But what we can see here from our daily chart, it's almost doji-like because we've got an open very, very near the close, but we did make a new low on the day, 12.10. Now, what's interesting to me about this lower low on the day is that it happened with the dollar under pressure and the equities markets under pressure. And so what we would have seen as supportive action, meaning, lower equities, lower dollar, possibly supporting gold, in fact, couldn't muster up any kind of energy to bring it off the lows or, or find any kind of potential bottom in the market. Of course, we went short this market at uh, 1249 and change. We made a recommendation to add to that position at around 12. 24, I believe we have lowered our stops. We'll look to lower them once again throughout the week as we begin to get up a sense or a feel for really what this market wants to do. Now, my sense is that we've got two real areas if we see this market continue under pressure that we want to pay attention to. The first is just $1,200. I call them century marks. But $1,200 per ounce, we should see some sort of support come into the market. And of course, real support in the market, we will see is this double bottom here at around 1180. Because if it can't muster any kind of support, assuming first that the market does continue on its gradual uh, lower pricing, but does not find any kind of bounce here, we could see some dramatically lower prices. Right now though, I am anticipating this is uh, approximately 1160 and this is approximately 1180 right in here. So in between, we'll call this a band uh, between 80 and 60 is a real area that if the market is going to muster any kind of support whatsoever, this is the area we want to look at. So traders, just an update in terms of our current trade. To do that, I've pulled up a 720 minute chart, entry point on a short position here. Your current stop should be just above uh, 1231. Now on a intraday chart such as this, it's about every two candles gives us a day, but look at this activity that we have seen. Very, very light activity, extreme lows and highs, closing pretty much where it opened on the day, as I said, a little bit lower. Really, in terms of moving the stop at this point, we would want it to really have some flexibility, a latitude for that trading range. And so I can't with any justice right now really recommend that we move it out. The next point that I want to move it to is going to be at around 1221. You can see that today's lows fall within that, of course, but ever, ever so slightly. Next chart I want to look at today, it's a daily chart, but Japanese average format. Of course, the key difference on an average chart is the open is really the midpoint of the prior session on a daily chart the prior day. So on a day where you've got very, very slight activity, meaning it's only trading off a couple of dollars, when we convert this, a standard candlestick chart, into the Japanese average, it really gives us a indication of strength of trend. We have all the upper wicks absent, powerful, and fairly large body size. Now I've gone ahead and converted it back to a standard candlestick chart. And so this is what I'm talking about, really removing the noise from the market by using the Japanese average charts. 
Once we look at the Standard & Poor's, uh, Dow Jones, I believe, was down 100. We had a tremendous, about 15 points given up in the Standard & Poor's 500. You can see these extreme lows again, uh, much like silver in terms of the type of candle. It did close a lot closer uh, to the highs of the days than these lows that were hit. We're looking at a particular candle type out of the umbrella group. And whether it's a hangman or a hammer, which is depending on where it was found, you would have to say this is after rise, so it could possibly be a hangman. My sense is that when we look at straight technical indicators, nothing fundamental out there, we can see that we've got these new highs really giving the equities a little bit of technical resistance moving past it. And so the real question is going to be, you can see areas of congestion in the market right before the market takes off. Here we get that small retracement, but we can also see areas of the market of congestion right before we get a drop. And so the fact that we're getting a area of congestion again tells us that it's either obviously a resting area before moving higher or lower, but we're going to have to see which way this market breaks. My sense is that I cannot really predict when we'll hit a top in the market. At some point, it's going to retrace, but you really want to look at the long-term picture in the equities market. Because when we do that, we see a clear, clear and defined uh, channel that we're operating within. Look at this. This is since really... Um, latter part of 2011 into 2014 we have this tremendously strong channel up you can see this tremendously strong channel down so what we're getting is we're getting periods of growth periods of retracement however recently retracements have been extremely shallow we haven't gotten any kind of real correction in the market and how long could that last it could last as long as it does we will look for signs of the market getting a uh, top heavy but i believe there is higher highs in store throughout the end of the year in stocks so traders what about silver silver's just getting beat up and it's getting beat up hard look at the lows that we made in here look at the size of this particular candle between the highs and lows it's absolutely doji-esque it could almost be called a hammer if you got any kind of a retracement or any kind of support i should say coming into the market and then moving it back up my sense is right now that it's following along with gold it will remain under pressure but there will be a point in which it is just perceived as quite inexpensive relatively speaking and they'll begin to buy that precious white metal back up i don't think that time is right now this has been gary wagner wishing you as always good trading we will talk to you tomorrow on tuesday for another daily update and review and remember wednesday i am doing a live one hour webinar in lieu of a show and please go ahead and sign up for that looking forward to seeing all of you bye, -bye.